hello hopefully all of you are doing good now in this video we will talk about how to use dash pages to create multi-page apps okay now if you are following my videos on plotly dash so we already discussed about how to create multiple page dash apps right using this this location object as well as like if i if i just show you so this is the deep learning plotly dash app we are currently working on right so if you see the index.py code so based on that location that that means the url path name we are basically showing the different layouts right and and that particular uh, layout is basically we are we are displaying in this output div over here right so and that output div we basically used in my callback to show different kinds of layouts over here right so this is one way to create uh, multi multi page dash apps in plotly okay plotly dash so now very recently with dot dash i think 2.5 version so they have introduced dash pages so which in which what they have done basically like all these things like based on that url to show different different page layout so these things they basically abstracted it to dash pages over there so you do not need to write these logics now so you can just directly create dash pages by by referring to something okay which we will see it, uh, very soon today okay so basically they created another layer on top of this particular logic so that you do not need to implement this logic by default so it, it, it will come out of the box itself okay so let us try to see how we can use dash pages to create the page so we what we'll do today is the same plotly deep learning app which we basically created the pages based on this logic right so we will convert into dash pages over here so all the pages we will try to convert using the dash pages over here so that we will get an idea then probably next few videos we will talk more features about the dash, dash pages as well okay so if i just follow the documentation so there are three things you need to remember when you want to use the dash pages first thing is like there has to be a pages directory where you will be saving basically all all your pages are basically python files right so all these python files will should be stored in a directory called slash pages that means so what i'll do is here in my app i'll create a folder called pages over here okay pages over here now if you can ask like whether this is the same name we have to give so this is also configurable so if i just go back to the documentation and go over here changing the default pages directory so in the app when you'll be creating the initializing the dash app right so here there you can basically give a parameter called pages folder so there you can mention any folder name so that folder name you can use to store your pages over here so this is configurable as well but for now i'll just go ahead with the with the pages over here now the second most important thing is here if you see it for each and every page you need to use basically this dash dot register page okay this will basically register that particular file as a page over here okay and another thing is in that file in that python file where you have defined it as a basically you have registered that particular file as a page using this this statement you need to have if either function or variable which basically returns a layout and that should be this one only okay so there should be a, either a variable name called layout or there should be a function name called layout which basically returns that layout so that you need to define in your file third thing is the changes in your app.py so now one good thing is like there are less code you have to write to create multi-page apps now if you see it here right another thing is like if you see it like our current structure we have our index.py and we have our app.py over here right so in the app.py we have just defined the app over here and all these things we are doing it in our index.py right that url routing and those stuff even 
the run server also we have in our index.py now everything should be in the apps app.py okay so you will basically remove all the codes from the index.py and we will just keep it the app.py for now so we will see that what changes needs to be done so first thing is when you will be declaring your app so use pages equals to true so that you have to mention so let us do that one in our app.py so here we are defining our app right so i will just write use pages over here so that's the first configuration you should be doing when you will be creating multi-page apps using dash pages okay so this basically tells us tells dash right use that new st structure over there right and the new framework over there to create dash pages over there now if you see it like in our older approach if i just go to index.py so we have this particular callback right which is basically displaying different pages layout based on the url path name right the similar stuff exists over here as well so in your app.py so you need to basically create basically add this dash dot page container in your app layout over here okay so in your app dot layout over here so what i'll do is here in my app dot py i'll say app dot layout over here okay now in this layout i'll just create a html dot div previously also we have some output div right so if i just show you the older code so this is the output div where we are basically displaying all the page content there and that output div only we have used it over here in our callback right so similar stuff children ch i l children okay so we need to have this html imported so let us do that one first from dash from dash import html here okay so children equals to so here basically you need to add that stuff so if i just go back to the documentation so dash dot page container so basically this will act as a uh, what should i say like this one like whatever div we have created over here like an empty div so this is kind of acting like that page container over here so automatically dash will display that particular page content whenever you will be accessing a particular url over there over here through this one okay now we need to import dash which we already have it over here so this is fine so this should be my app dot layout and as i said so app dot py should be your entry point as well so i'll just copy this guy over here and paste it over here okay so this should be the initial code for app.py so for now we do not need this callbacks and anything over here so what i'll do is i will just comment out whole code over here index.py i'll just save it for now now okay this is fine we will run our app later so now let us create separate pages over here so if i just go to my apps folder so for us there are currently we are working on three pages right home.py how neural network learns.py and the showcase.py right this this three pages so home.py i will just move it over here in the pages directory again how neural network learns.py i will just move it over here and the showcase.py as well i will move it to the pages folder so all these three python files i have moved to this pages folder now let us try to open one by one and try to solve it so as i said every pages we need to have this thing right dash dot register page so i'll just copy it i will paste it over here now you need to import dash for this one import dash so that will fix this import issue here and second thing is that every, each and every page should be returning a whenever you have this dash dot register page either you should be having a variable called layout which will basically give the page layout or you should be having a function called layout which is basically returning a page layout over here now i i am just going ahead with this variable one so i just rename that a 
home page layout to only layout over here okay so this is the requirement now i will save it now let's go back to the how neural network learns dot py similar stuff so over here so over here this was the this was our breadcrumb right and this was our initial paragraph content which we discussed in previous videos and this is the accordion we created in the last video i think right and this is the page layout we have it with all this navigation bar breadcrumb and those stuff over here so first of all this needs to be the layout right so this is the actual layout we were using second thing is we need to have this guy over here we need to have this guy over here again we need to import import dash over here right so this is important now now one thing you need to remember here like whatever pages you will be using okay so you cannot use this from app import app so we did it basically because of this callback right so we have this app dot callback over here because whatever python files you have in your pages folder right because this app dot py knows these pages are exist over here because of this definition over here register pages right so it automatically imports all this whatever you are defining over here okay so that means it will try to import this guy as well over here so it will basically you will get that circular import error over here probably I'll, I'll show you i'll just not remove it now here and i'll just open the showcase.py i will do the similar change i will just define it at a, as a page then i will import dash as well to solve the import issue okay and and there should be a layout right so this is our model showcase layout initially we used in our index.py right so if i just show you showcase model showcase layout right so this one i will just rename it to layout just only layout over here okay so that's the requirement and save it so now as app.py is our entry point now right so i will just run this app.py and try to see what are the errors we are getting so first of all if you see it like this partial initialized module app.navigation has no attribute navbar most probably you if you see it like circular import over here because app.py trying to import all these things from the home.py which is trying to import this navigation bar as well so we need to make similar changes to our navigation bar as well we will not add this register page because this is not a page over here right but what we need to do is we need to remove this app from app import app over here right now once we do that what will happen to our callbacks because there are in the callbacks only we are using this app dot callback right so in these cases the solution is you have to import dash which we already having in our pages over here right so it will be dash dot callback so that's the new change here as well okay even the same thing for whenever if you see it like we have used app over here to get the logo as well right so we need to use dash dot get asset url over here so functionality wise same it will always point to this assets folder and you can get that file from here okay so we will make these changes so let us make try to make the similar changes in all of our files so here I, we do not have any kind of callback so home.py is fine how neural network learns so we have it here so we will just comment it out and in all our callbacks we will be using dash dot callback over here similar stuff for our showcase.py as well so from app import app we need to comment it out and for all our callbacks here here we should we should be using dash dot callback over here okay so let's try to run it again and see whether we are getting any error or not 
yeah if you see everything is all right now let us try to what i'll do is i will just reload this one okay now if you see it i am getting if you see like i did not define anything on page not found over here right so that means this the, the that dash pages framework is basically giving telling me there is no page over here now what i have missed i have i may have missed the path argument there now let us do one thing for our home page let's give the path over here whenever you will be using this register page right so you can give the path name over here so for home page for home page i'll give this one this is required for home page for rest of the pages you can it will basically take the file name but it is always good practice to give the path name over there right now for the how neural network learns page so what i'll do is i'll just copy this portion over here okay and i will go to this register page and paste it for neural network learns page so i'll just follow the similar url pattern over here slash how neural network how nn learns right and for our showcase page for our showcase page so what i'll do is i'll paste it and i'll just copy the similar url pattern over here showcase slash showcase over here for now okay so once we have done that hopefully now it should be good if you see it already started coming up my home page over here right and if i just go to fundamentals and how neural network learns page so all our accordions are displaying correctly over here as we have done it before right and similarly in our model showcase page also it is coming up correctly there we basically added a very simple classification program right where we are just giving some random pictures and it is try to classify it over here right so we are able to successfully implement the dash pages to create a multi-page apps in dash right now there are a lot of things to talk about when we talk we talk about dash pages so i'll slowly cover in 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 next few videos over there okay so in this video at least we try to got the basic idea about how to use the dash pages over here okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video